Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike with Fowler Family Farm. So it is the next day uh, after picking up the silver death layers from Walker Farm Fam. Let me give you a quick look at what I did late last night when we got home. I left them in the cage that I brought them home in. Let me open this real quick. But anyway, I did leave them in here. When we got home last night though, I could not get the rooster to stand up. So we thought maybe he hurt his leg, but it looks like he's walking fine. So it looks like he's recovered or whatever it was. It was, I did, I did take the floor out if y'all have noticed. They're actually on the actual ground. So the flooring that goes in these dog crates I took out and that was slippery because it was wet with all the rain. So that could have been just what most of it was, was, was him just unsure of his footing. Need to get rid of this. I don't know why they're up there. Okay, let me shut this. Okay, I just wanted to show you the silver death layers real quick, but today's video is, it's something I'm building for them. So let's cut back to some previous video that I've already recorded, and then we'll catch back up to what I did today, the portion of the build that I did today as well. By the way, the portion of the video you're watching it's just going to be part one of this build. I don't know how many parts it's going to be because I can't devote a full day of building a chicken tractor right now just because I'm on my set on. So for those of you who are new, I am a police officer. So I work eight days on, six days off, and I'm on my one set right now. So I can't devote a full day because I don't have a full day to build right now. So I'm just building in pieces until my six days off. I'll finish this chicken tractor. So it could be a four part series of building a chicken tractor. I don't know. I really do think this is gonna be a great build, a great chicken tractor, but just watch what I've uh, done in today's video. I'm, I'm kind of impressed with myself. Okay, so what I'm building is a new chicken tractor. It's gonna be four foot by five foot, and you'll see that because it's already put together. So this is obviously the four foot side. This is the five foot side, and it's two foot tall. So that's pretty simple. The overall length is four feet from here to here. That means this board is 45 inches. That means this board is 60 inches. This board's two feet. So that gives you the basis of that frame that I've already built. You're gonna have to excuse the shop. I do a lot of building in here. Still building the house. So this shop gets used a lot. It stays kind of messy, but it's organized mess for me. This portion is already done. That's just the outside frame. Now I've moved on to my floor supports. And that also is gonna be the, this board here, it's two of them. It's one board, but I've sp split it in two. It's the same 45 inch length, okay? And it's gonna go every foot. And the reason I have it split like this is my wire mesh is gonna go between it. So that wire mesh is what the chickens will be walking on in this chicken tractor, plus they're gonna be roosting on it. So the smaller half of this board right here is what the chickens are gonna stand on when they're sleeping, when they're roosting. When they're roosting, they'll be sitting on this. This will be underneath the mesh. So the mesh will be here, the mesh floor, and it'll be like that every foot. So I'll have four of those boards along here. Okay, so I have four support pieces along the bottom of this chicken tractor. So I've already attached the top half of three of the support legs. Now I'm gonna show you the fourth one and you'll kind of understand as I'm doing it, I'll talk it through for y'all and, and show you kind of, and kind of show you what I'm doing. Hopefully it makes sense. Okay, so this is one two by four that I split down the middle. It's, it's actually not in the middle. This bottom half is wider this direction than this one is. But this is, this is what they're gonna be roosting on, this half right here. I'm gonna attach this top half right here. This will come on later. This will get put, this bottom half will get put on later. But I like to put this on as flush as possible. So what I do is I attach this board. I've already got it marked right here on both sides where it's gonna go. So that I can flush, put it flush with this bottom, I attach this board here. And then I attach it down here. Now when I lay this piece in, I wanna make sure the flat cut side, this is the side I cut, 
is up because that's what the mesh, the mesh is going to be on it. Okay, you just want to make sure you put it right in the middle of your one foot marking here. Okay, so now we're just going to come down here, do the same thing. Okay, so now you can see, I do keep, like this was one two by four. I keep each side with one another. I don't mix them. I guess you probably could, but I don't. You don't have to be real precise with this, but like you don't have to be flush here if you don't want to be, but, but I am. I, I like to try to do it as good as I can. So again, remember this is the bottom. This is what's gonna be on the ground. Okay y'all, so it's the next day. I have put in my supports for the hardware cloth that's going down on the bottom for them to walk on but let, i don't want to move any further on this project until i get my wheel situation correct because this is going to be on wheels i am going to be able to pull it so let me kind of show you what i'm thinking about doing i bought these a long time ago at a good wheel store where they didn't they no longer wanted this uh wheelchair because it had been damaged so the other wheels over here i'm going to figure out a way to attach these wheels it's already got the bolt on it just somewhere in this area i don't necessarily want to put it in the middle or at the far back i want it to be balanced to some degree so it's gonna have to go like right in here i think you guys will see my success or failure one or the other okay so one dilemma i'm already coming up with that i think i may end up having on this is i'm only going to get underneath like y'all y'all know this is the bottom that's the top down there this is the bottom, so the wheel's gonna come up this way, right? Well, I would like for my chickens to be able to get under this for protection. Like if an aerial predator comes out, they can go underneath the chicken coop, the chicken tractor. But my clearance is only gonna be from here to here. You, you see what I'm saying? That's the only distance I'm gonna have underneath the tractor if I just put it like right in here. Let me go get my tape measure and see if I think that's gonna be enough. I think it will be. Okay, so that gives me about a foot. I don't like to overcomplicate things, so I'm gonna give this a shot with no extra wood. Just see if I can get it to work just on these side pieces. Um, I can always take it apart, this, this part, the uh, wheels, and come up with something different if it doesn't work. But I think I'm just gonna try it this way first, flip it over and see kind of what happens, I guess. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, so most of the weight of this chicken tractor will be back here on the back side of it. Uh, this is going to be the back where it's going to have the most weight because I'm going to use fence pickets around here on the side to enclose it and then hardware cloth on the front side. And then, of course, the chickens will be sleeping back here, most likely in the winter because it, it'll wind block them and stuff like that. So I think this will be the heaviest end. So I need to... You know, I, need, I don't want it to be too lopsided. I kind of want it to be balanced. So I think... Let's go with 19 inches. So I'm going to go mark 19 on the other side. Okay, I'm going to right angle this. And then I'm going to go one inch down... Now I'm going to go one and a quarter down. So I'll go one and a quarter down on both sides. Okay, so now I'm using a 5 8 inch uh, portioner bit to put a hole right in here. Need to be... <laughs> as straight as possible if you can. The reason I want this at 5 eighths, this is smaller, this bolt, it comes with it and it's smaller than 5 eighths for sure but it comes with this piece right here i don't know if y'all can see that it's heavy duty metal and it slips over and this is what was on the other side of the wheelchair that allowed it to spin without rubbing this 
against it. And that fits in there perfectly. Okay, just like that. That piece fits in there, so, and it's real snug, and that's what's gonna give me my uh, stability. Okay, so this will go here. Comes with the bolt. Oh, you know what? I need a washer. Some of y'all probably already know that. I'm gonna need a washer on this end first. Let me go, let me go find a washer that'll fit this. Okay, so I did find some washers for this, but I also found a longer sleeve. Same size. Uh, and it'll actually fit the span of the wood instead of just being, you know, a portion of this. It'll actually go all the way across. It actually may be too long. We'll have to see. But let's give this a shot and see what happens. All right. Oh, yeah. I think it is going to be too long. I have to do some cutting on these real quick. I wonder, if I, can just, I wonder if I can cut it in half and just use one. Okay, I cannot find my tool to cut these. So if this does do a pretty good job, then I, I know I can always come back and cut this down to size and use them. Uh, I, I do believe that the more of this wood that this is supporting on, it would definitely be a better, better end game on that. So. But for now, I'll just try it like this and we'll see what happens. I do have the washer. Okay, I'm gonna put another washer on this end. Uh, I don't know if all wheelchairs are the same, but this is a 5.8. I can only hand tighten it so far. <laughs> so that's pretty tight. side okay y'all I gotta I want to flip this over and see what happens but I do have to be careful I still have a lame arm um, I don't think this is all that heavy necessarily but it will be on a bad arm now y'all hopefully y'all realize that uh, my idea behind this is to move the tractor. Oh wow. It's pretty darn simple. That's easy, y'all. I like it a lot. Yeah, I like this a lot, y'all. That worked out really well. I just got a lot more building to do on it, but that was successful. Just so you know, there will be kickstands in the front. So basically, whatever's level, I will use a kickstand right here in the front to keep it level. Um, if I do end up getting too much weight in the back and somehow it still wants to go back like this, I'll just do the same thing. I'll add a kickstand. So basically, anytime the chicken tractor is stationary, one side kickstand will be out to support it so it'll be level. And then when I need to move it, either, you know, I put, put the kickstand up and move it, or if I can just pull it up to move it and the kickstand stays where it's at, that's fine too. So I'm happy. That uh, turned out better than I thought. Uh, pretty simple, easy. Hopefully, 
hopefully it just lasts. Hopefully I don't have so much weight on it later that it just kind of falls apart on me. I don't think I will. I think it'll be good. All right, I gotta take the legs back off. I just wanted to make sure that worked. Now I have to add all the fence pickets and stuff like that, and then the wheels will come back on at the end. Okay, so another portion of this build will be, this will be their run. It's two cattle panels, 16 feet. It'll have chicken wire on both sides and maybe even underneath, I haven't decided yet. But this will be what they get their fresh grass and stuff like that on. And this is mobile. This is, this is easily movable, let me show you. So you can easily see that this moves very easy. I mean, there's no force here in moving this. So my only dilemma with this setup is I'd have to move it 16 feet to have new space. Really, I'd like to move it this way, just this amount of space. So they just got through using this for a week or four or five days. I'd move it this way, just this amount for fresh grass. Otherwise, I have to pull it 16 feet to get a fresh, another 16 feet of fresh grass. That'll all be worked out eventually. I'll figure it out. This is how UPS comes to our house. <laughs> they go in reverse because of this truck. Brennan's truck's always in the circle drive. So UPS would rather turn around over there by the barn and back in <laughs> so they can just pull straight forward. So Brennan decided he wanted to try it out. It will, by the way, he's holding it just by the wood. It will have a pole for you to grab to, to move it around with. Pretty simple though, isn't it? Yeah, it'll be good with like a pole like right here. Yeah. That way you're not close, your shins aren't getting hit. Yeah. But it moves easy. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. I want to take it back inside because it's not painted yet. Go hungry? Yeah. So this is my laying hen flock. I have not fed them yet today, so they are getting fed now, and then they'll get fed again later tonight. One more time. So let's feed them out, and then we'll close this video out. What do you want? This is not your food. This is chicken food. They don't really want me to pet them, but they stay close by because they know I feed them. <laughs> I'm not feeding you today. I'm feeding the chickens. <laughs> All right, watch out, Millie. So we do regular feed, plus we add some black oil sunflower seed to it. That's the little black specks that you see in there. You're not getting any of this. You stay back. Well, here comes the rest of the goats. <laughs> really, Millie? <laughs> We've been trying to train her to keep these goats back away from the house. And she somewhat gets it. She does a pretty good job. We really train her with the chickens. She doesn't attack the chickens. But we do train her to keep the chickens away from the porch because the chickens get on the, our porch and just make a mess of our porch, obviously. So, anyway, that's my laying hens. Um, I think I got. <laughs> Hello. Look at those goats. Hello, Rai Rai. What are you doing? Nothing. Did you have a good day at school? Yeah. Was it kind of hard to go back after Thanksgiving break? Yep. You had fun, huh? Oh, really? You got to sit up here? <laughs> okay, okay y'all. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed this quick uh, build video. Uh, like I said, there will be several parts to this build, but you'll see at the end, it's a, it'll be well worth it. I think you guys will enjoy the videos. You got anything to say, Rai Rai? I think so. Remember. Do the good. Do the good. We'll see y'all. Hello, guys, I'm Sneaky.
at the fair. 